please relax. And that is the feature articles. Okay? So, feature article, I think, is one of the easiest things to write, but it requires you to be so creative that people will be attracted to what you are writing. Okay? For news writing, it's a different thing. You attract, the, you attract them because of the news. But for writing the feature, you attract them because of the way you write, because of your title, and because of, not really because of the topic, but that can be, but because how you grab their attention. So let's see what's news feature. So first, can you please read and uh, somehow explain it. Okay, let's start with uh, Sally. Are you there, Sally? Can you read and explain? Just a bit explanation lang. Articles written in greater with more incidental detail is straightforward news, stories, or news analysis. That's the meaning of uh, this uh, summary map with important details. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay, very good. Thank you, Sally. So, uh, the news, okay, for example, a hard news is like very brief. Diba? Sabi nga natin, it only answers who, what, where, when, and it's a good news. Now, when we have the feature article, it gives an in depth understanding about the news. Because when we write a news article, it's just um, the surface, the surface knowledge. But when we create a feature article about that news, we will go in depth. We will add more information that is not written from the news article. And then, second, let's have Mr. Plaza. They combine facts and information with human interest and color. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain it? Um. On my own uh, understanding, I think this uh, uh, you should put the fact and the correct information with uh, to to catch uh, the interest of of the readers. I think I'm not really ah, okay. sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Mr. Plaza. That's correct. That you sh uh, what you write should be true and factual and. It is almost the same with news because news are purely factual. But then sometimes news can be boring because you are just straightforward to what you are doing. But with feature article, you have the freedom to somehow give colors. When you say we give colors, you become creative. Okay, you're not just being too brief. You're not just being um, too straightforward or direct. But for feature, pwede mapalabok. Okay, so that's it for feature article. You give color to what you are writing. And lastly, Anna, for number three. Feature writing are more personalized and more descriptive. Um, I can explain this uh, words that our feature writing uh, can include the emotions of the writer or the way uh, he or she would creatively put emotion on that uh, article. Yes, correct. Thank you, Miss Anna. It's like what uh, something like we can add adjectives with feature article. That is something that we cannot do with the news. Diba? As much as possible, we avoid using beautiful, handsome, something like that, or giving descriptions Okay, that are sometimes biased. But for feature, we can somehow be biased. Because we are like giving attention, for example, with a certain subject, and we can say that we are romanticizing that subject or that person. Okay? So that is for feature article. So, as what I am saying, news versus feature, there's a difference between the two. So, news analysis has a more rigid structure. What we discussed from the previous lessons that we had is that. We really follow the inverted pyramid. The most important and then the less important. And then we have to strictly follow this, uh, this inverted pyramid or that will not be a good news. However, for the feature article, still it follows the inverted pyramid. But the difference is that uh, the feature cannot be too strict 
in terms of following that because they can start with a quotation they can start with a statement okay and they can start with a, a more creative stuff that is something that we cannot do with news article but don't get me wrong huh? news analysis also has this lead that gives quotation right there's a quotation word news analysis it is just that for news we are more free to give our creative side unlike with the news article we are somehow limited okay restricted to be formal and follow a certain structure then in news a story can develop at a more leisurely pace place uh, pay sorry leisure relax diba? and in more discursive style like discursive parang kung saan mo gusto kung saan mo gusto mag-focus parang kasi sa news formal nga eh di ba parang kailangan strictly ganito yung structure but in uh, uh in in news kasi i-develop mo yun madadevelop mo siya through feature and then meaning of a feature can be more personalized depende sa iyo kung ano gusto mong type Okay, unlike for news article, you have to think what is the best type of news for this kind of news. For example, my murder. Anong type of news yun? Siyempre, straightforward news yun. Pag may murder, hindi ka mag-quotation. Diba? It's not a good thing. And then, for example, my speech si Rodrigo Duterte. Of course, you will have a quotation. Okay, a quotation lead for that. A quotation news writing. But for feature, there are various ways to be creative. Okay, and then, I'm oh, sorry, what happened? Okay, feature articles offer the reader a soft way, okay? A soft way in giving a story. When we say a soft way, it is like you're telling to them that, wait, we have to make it like more calm, okay? Mm -hmm. The story is too much okay, because you're just giving information. Diba? It's like when you are when you have this information overload, it is like that. Parang sa news, you're getting information overload. Somehow, the feature article, yun nga, yung breathing space nyo, that you deliver the news na mas okay yung delivery. Hindi yung tatlo patay, apat sugatan, di ba? Ganun yung ano, in news article. But for feature article, somehow, they can make it more creative like um, the body of a person who was allegedly, you know, may pa ganun -ganun, may, may palabok pang word. But in news, you cannot do that. But for feature, you can have you can have it an attack and soft way. Okay? So that's news versus feature. Now, let's move on. Characteristics of feature writing. I wanted to also uh, read and explain this one. Miss Janeline Abao, can you read and explain? Convey serious information in an inclusive and emotive manner. Um, mm -hmm. Feature writing. Um, although this is um, a feature that you kailangan maging creative ka, kailangan po yung mga information na i-insert mo dito sa feature, um, feature article. Kailangan po serious and informative. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Very good. Thank you, Miss Abao. Second, well said. Uh, Miss Mary Grace Alito, read and explain. Yes, um, we are no longer in a conventional way of uh, presenting information. According to Miss Mary Grace, in a certain news, we are always having this serious tone. 
But for the speech you're writing, we can have chatty, humorous, conversation, and it's like you're talking with your reader. But with news, it's not like that. It's formally, directly giving the information. And then for the third, how about Mr. Giron, Freyland? Hello, ma'am. Good morning, po. Ayan. Okay. Can so, you please read and explain? Uh, content. Explore the wider background and consequences. So, for the content, it, it deals with the main story. And also, yes. uh, you must have enough resources in order to further elaborate the topic for the readers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Sir Giron. Um, with feature writing, you need to have an in-depth invest investigation regarding the matter, unlike with news story. The thing is, um, news story is can be easily created because it will you will only just fill in the information. If you're ready to give the who, what, why, how, where, when, then you're ready to go. It's okay now. But for the feature writing, the five W's and the how cannot suffice that you need to interview you need to observe maybe even survey and look for consequences okay uh, maybe we have the news about this is just an example about the hazard pay somehow the how do you call this the, the writer himself or herself will give the reaction of what will be the reaction of the workers if they did not get the hazard paid or if they will get the hazard paid there's an emotion that's coming Okay, and then let's move on. Structure, Miss Consolation. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yes, ma Can you please read and explain? I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't read because ano po uh, ah, so oh. phone lang gamit ko eh. I okay po sige. I will read for you and then you explain. Okay. 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 Structure. For feature writing, eh? explore issues of long-term interest to society unrelated to specific event. Common subject for features are health, environment, and social problems. So, look at the keyword structure, unrelated to specific, how can we uh, infer, what can we infer regarding the feature articles? Uh, in our picture article, so we should be remind, uh, mindful of the structure, but the, uh, uh, for example, mm -hmm. to help, uh, with, uh, for example, COVID-19, so these, these are, uh, when, we, when, we, when we write uh, regarding COVID-19, we should specify uh, things that uh, uh, that corresponds to for, uh, to the article itself. So, uh, from where or what or how we should avoid something like that. Sorry. Okay, thank you, Miss Consolation. Sorry, um, there's a uh, mute para na mute ko siya and then ang tagal niyang bumalik ma unmute. <laughs> okay, so yes, um, aside from what Miss Consolation told us, for the structure of the feature, as I've told you, it can be flexible. That even something that is unrelated with the topic, pwede mo siyang isingit dun sa dulo ng feature. Unlike with news article, it's that it, you need to be loyal with your topic. Dun lang kayo mag-focus. But with the feature, you can explore more. Parang pwede kang may isamang iba doon sa topic mo. Okay? So that's one good thing. Chris Melaine, I've seen your message and it's okay. Thank you. So... Again, and these are the four characteristics of a feature article. A feature article can be um, can be stated as an article. Sorry, an article can be say that it is a feature if it has a purpose, tone, content, and structure. 
and each of the purpose tone content structure has their description. Even other articles have this purpose tone content structure, but only the feature article can have the purpose that needs emotive manner, that has a tone that can be chatty, that has a content that, ex that explore wider background, and that has a structure that can include unrelated to the topical event. Okay, so I hope you're getting it. So let's move on. The composition of feature. So how does it look like? By the way, in feature article also, you can also include their poetry, okay, essay, or um, short story. I wanted you to like create a feature writing that has something to do with the event at school. Okay, so what is the composition of the feature? Feature need is anecdotal and colorful. Of course, you can narrate a story and then narrate it in a way pwedeng pabaligtad mo yung narrate, narrate or kaya pwedeng ano, mag-explore ka ng iba't ibang structure on um, telling a story and then the significance of the story is provided in the not paragraph a feature article has this not paragraph this is an important uh, term guys for feature article a not paragraph already told us why is this article important? And when you write a feature, kilangan yon. It can be one to two sentences only. And this is already a not paragraph. You're telling the readers implicitly or maybe explicitly that this article is important. Then, the body. So you see uh, how is it uh, formed. First, we started with the lead. Like news article, it has a lead. But we can be creative in terms of the lead. This lead should be attractive to the readers. And then second, the not paragraph. Third is the, bo uh, the body itself. Like you explain, you give more in-depth analysis. So it educates, entertains, and ties the reader to the story. And last, teacher not only begins with color, as it ends with color. Like how you started your feature article powerful, you should end it powerful also remember when readers end for example when the readers end your article yung tatatak sa kanila yung huli mong mga sinabi di ba even you when you read something ay yun yung tumatatak sa inyo masasabi nyo na maganda yung book for example a novel is good if the ending or if you're satisfied with the ending okay so that's it for the feature article so that's how you write one we do not really have this um, in a structure, like rigid structure, because as, as I've told you, you're free as to what, um, what they call it, as to how creative you can be in terms of writing. So what are the characteristics? How can we say that uh, a feature article is a good one? So it may inform, instruct, or advise. So see, you cannot give advices with news, okay? Here you can give advice, you can give your personal, okay, personal take regarding something. But the main purpose is to entertain. A feature article cannot be called a feature article if it does not entertain or attract the readers, okay? So that's why it is hard, okay? This is uh, quite hard for the readers, but, uh, for the writer, but it is also challenging. Second, it may be written in any form or style. I remember during our college years, I have a classmate who write a feature article that has a different structure. Yung picture ng poetry niya, it looks like a girl. Okay, a girl, yung mapa, yung, yung form, pero nakasulat. Imagine, parang hindi siya yung nakasenter or naka, ano tawag dun, yung straight. Pero ginawa niya, yung itsura ng tula niya, nag, naging form niya na girl. Okay, so that's a good way. And that's also a unique style. Kasi yung attract, you already attract your readers. And then, uses specific nouns, adjectives, and verbs. Remember, in our news article, with the lead, if it's not famous person, then we should just name it a boy, a girl. But for a feature article, you should name them immediately. 
and then you use images, sounds like onomatopoeia. This is the time to shine the, the, the literary, okay, the literary devices that we use in writing. It applies unity, coherence, of course, and emphasis, like the the, the traditional way of writing that it still needs coherence, cohesiveness, the mechanics in writing, look at your grammar still. And then, written, friendly, and with a simple way of providing information. No longer, you don't need to make it hard for them, okay? You don't need to make it hard for them to, like, take the news, but make it in a friendly manner. Like, you're like, mm, conversation, or having a conversation with a friend. Lastly, grab the attention of the reader immediately. So what you should do is that emotionally, you see, emotionally, kukunin mo yung attention niya. Tingin mo, for the teens, ano ba yung mga bagay na makakapag-grab ng attention ng teens? Maybe you can create uh, yung Wattpad, kasi ngayon I can see in my newsfeed some of you are fan of Wattpad. So maybe you can do a feature article regarding that. Pwede mo, pwede ka rin gumawa ng issue na does what but ruin education? Something like that. Sure, it can already grab the attention of your readers. Okay, so that's it for the characteristics of a good article. To continue, here are the types of a feature articles. There are various types of feature articles, but what I will be giving you are the common ones. So we have news feature. This is from the news, and then you take an in-depth story about this. Interpretative news, and they say interpretative or interpretive, it depends. Interpretative or interpretative feature, this is, uh, it analyzes the facts on the news. Somehow it can be a news feature, but then for news feature kasi, still para siyang news, pero in-explain mo lang elaborate, elaboratively. Pero sa interpretative news, magbibigay ka ng personal take. Okay, magbibigay ka ng personal take. What are the possible consequences given that news? Okay, so that's interpretative feature. Now, straight feature, this is like a news. Okay, a news pero interesting yung story niya. Hindi siya newsworthy. Um, ano ba yung mga magagana? Kung ano, yung aso, about lang naman sa aso. Uh, two-legged dog. Yung two-legged dog, hindi siya as in newsworthy. Pero, for, news, uh, for a feature article, it can be Feature worthy. So that's it. Yung way ng pag describe mo doon sa story na two, two legged dog, that could be um, like a news. Parang nagbabalita ka lang kung ano nangyayari ko sa mga. Then, personality feature. This is about a person. Okay, a famous person. O, wari, um, sino ba yung mga famous person ngayon? Si Ka, si, sino pa ba? So, yung mga nakikita yung mga vloggers, mga sikat na vloggers ngayon, pwede yan. So, like sa soberano, mga gano'n. So, that is a personality feature. You are telling a story about that person. Or, in relation with that, the news, or sorry, interview feature. Of course, you interview someone. Usually, interview feature is for prominent then. You will not interview that person if you will not catch the attention. If you know Tony Talks, Tony Talks para ayun yung way of interviewing. If you get create a writing out of the interview, therefore, that is an interview already, an interview feature. So what's the difference between uh, interview from personality? For, for personality kasi, um, pwede siya kahit sa hindi famous. Okay, even a, a certain person. Halimbawa, yung sa KMJS, yung Jessica Soho, yung bata na nagkatrabaho, kasi nga wala na siyang parents, yung lola at lola niya lang, that could be a person, we can make it a personality feature. But for the interview feature, it is for prominent individual. Human interest, yung human interest, marami yan eh, pwede yung humorous kahit saan galing. Basta it uh, provoke an emotion, emotional reaction in a reader, it can be sad, suspenseful, or fast-paced. Basta nakakaget ng attention. Then, backgrounder. Ay, sorry, another person human interest, pwede rin yung current news, yung mga chismis. 
Yan, yung mga cheese whisk, pwede yung, yung uh, parang example, yung sa 13, eh. parang there's a new feature that, uh, sino to yung, there's a better actor than Liza Saberano to dub the 13 for 13. Okay, so that's already a human interest feature. It uh, triggers our uh, emotions. Then backgrounder, he will just give uh, what's happening around. One good example is creating a feature about COVID-19, how Manila looks like when everyone is in lockdown. Okay? Brights. A good example of Brights are uh, the Reader's Digest. Ito yung super ikli lang. Parang 100 to, 3, 100 to 150 words lang siya. Ganun. Parang kung ang news makakatayo ng news lead lang for Brights, it can also stand alone. Kasi nga, Nga, nakalagay pala. Less than 100 words. Okay? It can be less than 100 words. Eh, nandun na lang. Nandun na lahat. Para siyang short story. Super short story. Pero, you are also giving an information. Okay? So, those are the examples. So, Bright, Rockrounder, Human Interest, and Interview Feature. So there are eight. I presented you eight. Here are some of the examples. Let's see what do you think is this type of um, article. Hard but blessed life. Okay. I wanted to read it and think what type of feature article is this? You can raise your hand if you have answer. Okay, Chris Melaine, what's your answer? Um, try lang po, ma'am. Personality sure. feature. Okay, personality feature. Because why uh, Why did you say this personality feature? Based po sa feature article, naka-indicate po yung experiences or yung tungkol po sa uh, experiences po ng pandemia. Okay, yes. Uh, so you see, para we, we are narrating. Okay, we are narrating a story of someone kung ano yung nangyayari doon sa everyday life niya, right? So, this is an example of, that is also correct, Chris Melaine, that, that that can be a personality feature. This is an example of news feature story, if if you're familiar with the news. There is a there is this news kasi about uh, giving, parang tawag dito, canceling the panta with pamilya. Parang ititigil na siya. Okay, but if you know, of, or of course, the background, this could be a news feature. But Chris Mullane's answer is still is also correct since it tackles about the story, the life of Melinda. Okay, so again, for the second example, we need Chris Mullane. Who is this version of death by Ashley Hayes from CNN? Okay, it's a good thing that um, you analyze the structure also and the content. So somehow you will have the idea. Yes, Sally, what's your answer? It's a human interest feature. Okay, it could be human interest feature. That's correct because it gets the attention of the readers and he somehow parang gothic shy. But there's another um type of news feature of this and this is an example of personality feature because as you see in the lead we are highlighting this person the merchant of death even in this the merchant who is the merchant of death okay so that's it again nakita niya na yung next slide so this is a personality feature but thank you sally for answering that is that could also be um this type of news feature kaya din siya hindi gaan ang dinidiscuss because it is so free para masyado siyang malaya we freely create uh, this type of article na minsan nag-overlap na siya. Yung iba, pwedeng pagsamahin yung personality and human interest. Isa naman yung feature, tsaka ganito. So, uh, we, can be, we cannot really just dwell on a single characteristic of a feature article. And then with this, ayan, so nakita nyo na, R&B singer Usher. So, I think you're familiar with this personality, yung singer. So, this is an interview 
feature because as we say interview feature especially for those who are prominent and famous and then Diana Ring ay, Diana Ring seals Prince William marriage plan at that time kasi um, parang putok yung balita na ikakasal na si Prince William at si Diana so yung yung sa ring na pinakita ayan so na in Lahat ng tao parang na trigger. That's why it is a human interest feature. And then, ready, aim, bake. So, you see how good the title is? Makikita niyo, pag nabasa niyo yan, sige, I want you to read that. And that is already a whole article. What type of feature is that? That one is easy. Yung kanina kasi, ano, um, part lang siya nung his feature. Yes, Anna, what's the answer? Yes lang po. I think it's bright because it's okay. humorous. Sa title mm -hmm. pa lang. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's correct. Thank you, Anna. So, Ready, Aim, Bake is an example of bright. Since, uh, aside from it is humorous, tinan nyo, ilang words lang siya, tas ayan na. Um, okay na siya, good to go na siya as a feature article. Then, why is it Ready, Aim, aim Bake? A creative, di ba? Parang, it is about a gun, okay, that is in the oven. That's why it's ready, aim. That is a term that we use for uh, shooting. And then suddenly it's a bake because it's in the oven, okay? So in feature article, we can be as creative in doing our title. And like for the news, we have rules to follow. Like we do not use articles, we do not use the word end, and something like that. For but for feature, we can be as free and as creative as you can be. Okay, so those are the examples for our feature article. Now, what are the techniques that uh, we use? We have this metaphor. Okay, metaphor is comparing two subjects, but we do not use the word like and as. Okay, ayun lang naman yung pinagkaiba nila eh. Yung simili, dapat may like tsaka may as. Tandaan nyo yan. Lagi yan lumalabas sa ano dun eh, sa left, yung metaphor tsaka simili. So, dapat tandaan nyo na yan. Yung metaphor, so, um, most of the time, it uses parang mga tawag dito, call, is, or, mare. she is a jewel, you are a rose, yan yung mga metaphor. Yung simili, nagamit ka ng like, tsaka ng as. Ano pa? Personification. You are giving a human trait to a to an object that is an inanimate. Okay? Like, for example, the flowers bow their heads. Uh, the one who bow their heads are human, but it uses the flowers. Hyperbole, being too exaggerated. Okay? And then, it can contain anecdotes, description, verbs, and direct. So these are some feature so techniques that we can use in. Now, these are the type of lead. Okay, so there are the type, ibang type of lead. So you, it's up to you which which to choose. We have the summary lead. When we say summary lead, it summarizes. It's like a new feature, but more creative, huh? Narrative. You're narrating a story. You remember the Melinda story a while ago. That is a narrative lead. And also, it is not necessary that you need to have parang short introduction. Sometimes nga, three to five ang inaabot for, ano, for the lead or feature. It depends talaga. And then descriptive, you are describing what you are seeing. Like for example, the girl is breathing heavily as he, uh, as he go inside the classroom. All of his classmates, all, uh, all of her classmates' eyes, are glazing at her. So, yun, yung mga ganyan. Sinasabi mo yung nangyayari. It's descriptive. Quotation lead. So, you put quotes. Or the question lead. Have you ever tried something like that? Then, will you? Parang something that triggers their uh, mind to read your work. So, Types of leads, I found that we have also descriptive. No? Combination, when we talk about the combination, pagsamasamahin nyo, gusto nyo pagsamahin yung question, tsaka quotation, descriptive, tsaka yung narrative. 
Okay? Staccato, punch lead, and the contrast lead. So, yung staccato, yan, ito yung mga interjections. Like, we put too much emotions. Mayroong mga, wait, oh my gosh, yung mga ganyang term. That's staccato. Punch lead. Yung parang sa news article, ang example niyan, the president died. Wow, parang ganun daw siya, parang wow, parang isa, if, ang effective niya. Even in future, we can do that. For contrast lead, ito naman yung two, merong good side tsaka bad side kang pinapakita. Yung example natin for news writing dati, while the students are in public school are suffering from lacks of resources, there are these rich people parang immersing themselves to the luxury of life. So it's contrasting. In teacher, you can do that, but in a more creative, more elaborative manner. So that is for the teacher articles. So how do you end a teacher story? So we already know the lead and then the body. It's up to you how you're going to present it. But how are you going to end this? Summary ending. You can wrap up what you have said, like a traditional way of concluding a message. Climax, and your uh, something. I have read this feature article wherein he will tell a story. Okay, he tells a story, pero nag stop siya doon sa rising action. And then after the rising action, what he did is that he explained what's happening. Sa ending, dun niya lang present yung climax. So that is an example of climax ending. Eh, naman na rin ang yari yung an ending ending. Hindi pa tapos, kinat na. Okay, para la. Ayun na yun. Para na yun. So, somehow, it will uh, make the reader crave for more of your articles. Okay, so, yung an ending ending, it is up to the readers how they are going to end the article. Pero wag yung ano wa yung hindi niya natinapos walang tuldok. Parang, oops, parang ganun. Kung gagawa kayo ng ganun, make sure na part yun na hindi yun mekan na mistake talaga make sure na may meaning kapag hindi nyo nilagyan ng tuldok or kaya dash lang. Diba? So, may mga gana. For example, ang usapan natin, online class. Halimbawa, wala to, ah. And then, your feature article is about uh, your online, the resources. And then, you end your story na nakaganon, na hindi tapos. And somehow, that is an implication na, okay, so hindi talaga okay ang, ang resources niya. Diba? That's a very creative way of writing. You can um, you can be good and you can explore more in feature article. Then, stinger ending, like something that stings, stays, okay, with the reader. Pwede siyang nakakabother, okay? Halimbawa, um, you tell a story of a person who become successful. Like, for example, I read a story about or a feature article. There is this man who is very anxious, okay? Who is very anxious that he and his family will have a cancer for... Because uh, because in their place, cancer is very evident. Parang halos lahat ng tao may cancer. Now, 30 years, okay? 30 years, he, do, he becomes healthy, okay? He exercise, but he always worry about it. And then, yung ending niya, ang kulit kasi, the stinger ending is that the man died of heart attack. Okay, so imagine, nag-worry siya dun sa cancer, but then, dun sa ending, heart attack naman pala yung kinamatay niya. So that is an example of stinger ending. So I hope you're getting how a feature story is written because that's how, uh, yung mga binibigay kong example, um, Konti pa lang yan. You can explore other. You can read other articles. Okay? So, for a strong future story, remember this. G-Q-S-T-U-D-D. Strong. Lead. Transition or the quote formula. Unique angle. Description. You should show. Don't tell. And detail. I wanted to emphasize here with the unique angle and the, the description. For unique angle, look at the aspect that is something that cannot be seen by others. For example, uh, the, the trese, okay? The trese, the, the Netflix itself. What other angles can we see? Aside from many people are already saying, ah, it was a good animation, and then 
meron ko nagsabi na Lisa Saberari is not that good in dubbing. Aside from this, ano pa kaya pwede nating tingnan doon sa ad, sa Netflix na yon? na makakagrab ng attention. Meron ako nakita kagabi yung parang may gwapong aswang. Ayun, may gwapong aswang. That is a good angle. Okay? Ano pa ba? So, may mga ganon. Titignan niya yung ibang angle na hindi nakita ng iba na kayo yung magbibigay. And then, description. Show, don't tell. Um, for showing, don't tell, it's like minimizing the adjectives but showing it. Kanina, di ba yung example ko? The girl is uh, rushing in entering the classroom. He is perspiring and all of her classmates and even the teacher is looking at her. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? The girl is late. But did I say that the girl is late? No. I describe it. I show it to you. I, don't, I didn't tell you that the girl is late. Instead, I told you that the girl is rushing and he's perspiring and all of her classmates and even the teacher is looking at her. So, that is a way of a good feature story. Show, don't tell. Even in your creative writing, when you have that, you have the show and don't tell. Mas effective and mas maganda yung dulot nun in writing, in Filipino or in English. Okay? So, that's it for our feature story. What are the things to avoid? Ano naman yung iiwasan natin gawin? Newsleed. Do not use a newsleed of course, in terms of uh, feature writing, it's too boring. Writing in a passive voice, even in news writing, we have to avoid that. Okay, uh, too many adverbs and adjectives, you have to I show, have don't to tell. Like, oh, yes. And then, story doesn't flow, doesn't use the TQ formula, okay, like there is a good transition, okay? When you give this scope, make sure that it is related with what you will be saying next, hindi yung pang fill in lang. And then, lack of strong code. Another thing for feature writing, you have to make sure that there is one liner. There, there's a one liner that you can say that the readers will remember this one liner. The takeaway of my article. Sa, sa haba ng article, wala talaga takeaway, di ba? Sa news article, wala talaga takeaway dyan because it's a news. But for feature article, you have to make sure that there is a one liner that can be instilled in your reader's mind okay so let's have a short activity we still have 20 minutes so i want you to write write lang naman a feature read and maybe an article i'm not really sorry sorry not article a title about online learning in pccm okay so look at angles that maybe is unique Okay, and then be creative, explore other structure of writing, and use, uh, you have to have a color in terms of giving the words. I want you to give me a title and then parang one sentence lead lang to start your uh, feature, right, a feature article. One title and one lead. I'll give you uh, five to ten minutes to think about it. That's our short activity. Write a feature lead about online learning in PCCM. I'll call you one by one. Uh, by the way, I'll give my entry. For me, uh, I wanted, my title will be about Abacada Papasakaya. Parang ganon, di ba? Abacada Papasakaya. That, that could be. Or maybe, um, well, I am, you can be, you can be a narrate, uh, in narrating, parang nagnanarate ka. Okay. The Gen Z, parang you can use the word Gen Z, you can use the word cell phone, uh, technology, something like that. So, it is all up to you. Okay? So, 5 to 10 minutes, your timer starts now. How about Sally? Sally, you know? Ayan, yes. Okay. Okay. Online class is amazing. Extra got start just a healthy manner would be. Miss Jimenez bear brilliant full of joy and interest while discussing her subject. Time is no limit beyond when you are in her online classes. It is possible you will miss her. Okay. Again, what's your title, Sally? Sorry, I didn't, uh, uh, I wasn't able to hear that. What's your title, Sally? 
a happy band with Miss Jimenez. Oh, wow. Thank you, uh, Miss Hari. A happy bond with Miss Jimenez. Uh, that's a cute, uh, that's a cute uh, feature. But maybe you can add more with the title. But I like the, what do you call that? I like the content itself. It's very colorful. Thank you, Sally. That's a good one. How about Anna? Try lang po. Sure. I created two kasi po akala ko pwedeng more than one sentence. My first one ah, is... Yes, yes, it's okay. The title is Sync Up with Synchronous Class. Mm, that's a good one. Okay. My, my first, the first one that I've created started with a question. Have you ever felt being left behind or cannot catch up and can't be on the same page with others? Mm, yes. Then I change it to somehow like the news feature uh mm -hmm. the, the news um anna a 30 year old third year high school a third year student of the polytechnic college of the city of make hawaiian copes up with flexible learning through attending online classes okay interesting anna um maybe you, you can have that article and you start writing that for me <laughs> okay thank you so much <laughs> how about chris malane Try lang din po, ma. Ayan tayo sa mga try, ang gaganda naman ng entry. Sige. <laughs> Title ko po, um, Closed Door Learning. Mm -hmm. Tapos, Feature Lead po, two sentences din po. Okay, As okay. PCCM, Implement Flexible Learning, Students are still in adjustment. It's as if they are battling in war where they could only fight within their houses. Okay, that's a good one. I like the the battling part. Okay, the battling part in the houses. Good one, Miss Melaine. How about Freilan? Let's see. Hey, ma'am. Good morning, po. Try lang din, ma'am. Ayan, try sa try. Ah, sige. <laughs> It's akin, ma'am, ano po? Uh, PCCM, tapos total doc. No face-to-face no face -face class, no problem. Hmm, okay, good. Uh, this starts yung feature this one. Despite the struggles and internet connection issues, CCM's online learning system still managed to push its way in giving quality education for the students. One good proof for that is the students that qualified on last some students list. Okay, fantastic Freeland. Pwede na rin yan. I think the PCCM admin will like that. <laughs> will like that too. <laughs> okay, thank you Freeland. How about consolation? Good morning ma'am. Try lang din po. Thank you. Good morning. Yung akin po. Okay. Hello, Consolation. I think ano, may, medyo ano, tayo, choppy. I wasn't able to hear your ano, to hear your title. Maybe you can type it. Na, pwede ka ba makapag-type? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, type mo ah. Sige, balikan kita. And then I'll read it uh, with the class. Okay, let's have Jeneline Abao. Si Jeneline. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Connect or disconnect. Okay. Taking online modality is different. Mm, yes, that's your first. Uh, that uh, that could be that could be added. Uh, it's like ano eh, parang news feature yung kay Miss Zeneline, and it's a good one. How about the twins, Mary Grace and Marianne? What's yours? Hello. 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 Online learning, yes. can I? Online learning yeah, again. Okay, okay. okay. Jessa is trying to still open her eyes and listen to the voice in front of her cell phone, thinking, would I still be okay being awake 
20 hours a day. Right. Uh, it's like a descriptive. It's an example of show and don't tell. Okay, very good. Galing, magaling yung ano, yung mga, at tawag nyo, yung mga entry nyo. I think you can um, have that and put that in our final yung newspaper nyo mismo. Okay? Your entries are all good. It just needs siguro more colors. Eh, Siyempre, one, one sentence pa lang naman eh. You can add more with that. Okay? So, ayan, yung kay Consolation. Yung kay Consolation, school close, online learning on. Oh, okay. For almost a year now, PCCM educational system has been experimenting with online learning. I like the term experimenting. Indeed, I think all of the school are experimenting. So well done, English 3A. I like. Uh, I'm happy that you're able to already grasp. To already grasp your. What do you call this? This feature article, diba? It's easy, but it's challenging at the same time. It is satisfying when you're able to. Uh, like find the correct okay the correct diction the correct word for your ad articles i hope you learned something today do you have any questions clarifications violent reaction meron <laughs> ba uh, ma'am kailan po yung pasahan ng Book? Ano mo? Uh, bukas for island Joke lang. Hindi na joke lang. Hala mo. Yung mukha ni Froylan, kahit hindi ko nakikita, alam ko lumaki yung mata niya. <laughs> Para sa'yo, Froylan, bukas. Now, now um, actually, I am thinking it will be next week. I don't know. Next, next week. Next week kasi is our midterm. So, it will be next, next week. Be next, 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 next week, Friday. Ayan po yung ano, uh, 1 to 8 po. Okay. So, Anna, you have... Okay na, Froylan, may question pa. Apo, ma'am. Bali okay. mag-fall po siya sa July 2, ma'am, no? Mm -hmm. Yes, week 9. Okay. Uh, Anna, do you have a question? Yes, ma'am. Yung sa gagawin po namin sa midterm na... Mm -hmm. And yung feature po, yung... Sa school lang po ba siya pwede? Or, kasi may mga inatendan po kami ng seminar na may kaugnayan din po sa school. Pwede po ba yung isama? Uh, paano ano, may kaugnayan? Ah, pwede umaten kayo na, sa, ng seminar. Pero related, related pa rin naman sa PCCM. Yes. Uh, for example po yung PAFT po. Mm, yes, of course. Yes. As long as there are PC, there is a PCCM, our campus is involved. Kahit slightest nga lang eh. Imagine faculty lang, pangmari, kumatin sa ganito. That could be. <laughs> okay, welcome. So, I will be uh, giving to you the midterm exam, yung format, on Tuesday. Tuesday yan. And then, you will pass it to me on Thursday. Okay? So, that's it. Any more questions or clarification? Okay, so thank you so much, English 3A. It's already 9.31. I appreciate you coming here. Thank you so much, uh, English 3A, and have a good day. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Paul, Mom.